guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, welcome. My name is April Sunday. Nice to meet you. Just kidding. But since you're already here, might as well hit that subscribe button, right? Because uh, I know you don't want to miss out on any more videos on me. <laughs> so today I did this really cute fall vampy look. And if this isn't vampy enough for you, girl, I don't know what is. And I used the Color Pop Tunes I Love Said I Eat collaboration. Girl, these palettes are to die for. Not really, but if you don't have any, girl, what are you waiting for? I did this super beautiful purple with gold glitter on my eyes, and I absolutely love the way this look, girl, plus his lip. It's so cute! So if you want to see how I recreated this look, then keep on watching. Guys, you will not believe what just happened. I was doing my eyeshadow literally like halfway through the look, and I realized I wasn't even recording. The whole time. I hit myself. And now, I just took it off, and I'm starting over. So that's how you know I'm dedicated. So if you're new, you better freaking subscribe because that sucked. So we're going to do this again. And this is the first time for you, but the second time for me. So I'm going to go back in with the Morphe Blending Rush into No Chance. It's a really, really pretty white green color. I'm just going to dip into that. And I like to put colors like these, like, like these, like these all over my lids just to start off with one solid color. And especially because I'm going to be this is going to be like a super shadowy color for kind of look. I want this color to be the first shade that I apply. Alright, so with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this really, really pretty brownish color. Like me. Bruh. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this really pretty brown color right here. And I'm going to take the same blending brush. I'm going to dip that in just because there's really no color on it. And I'm going to go into my crease with this color. And I'm going to apply this on my crease, but then I'm really going to smoke it out just because it's going to be a smoky wing look. So now that that color is applied, I'm going to take a Morphe R37 and I'm going to dip into the really pretty darker brown shade right next to it. It's called Distressed. It almost looks like a purple, but it's definitely a dark brown. And I'm going to dip this in and I'm going to put that in my crease again, but just a little lower so you can still see the first shade and then wing that out as well. So ColourPop in general has some of the best quality eyeshadows and they're so affordable this is the reason why they blew up so quickly in such short amount of time so when I bought these eyeshadow palettes it was no surprise to me when they were super pigmented and super blendable like these eyeshadows are so good and they're so beautiful you can create so many different looks with them so I was like damn Karen because these are like the Karen and I Love Sit I Eat uh, collaboration that they did together I'm like she really did that so if you guys are looking for affordable fall palettes definitely check these out and I mean you can definitely use them for different seasons but since it's fall right now and you're looking for something super affordable I think they're $16 each don't quote me on that but definitely check out Colourpop so now that that eyeshadow is applied I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer brush is the Morphe M213 it's such a really good flat it's super tiny so it's really good to get right in the creases and I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tip and put that on my hand just to make it easier to work with. And I'm going to just put the concealer all over the brush. And I'm going to cut out my crease area. But it's just going to be a half cut crease. I'm going to go in with just a regular flat brush. It's like a kind of a tapered brush with my color cop. Color cop. What is wrong with me today? It's by Color Pop. And I'm going to go in with the first shade that we put all over our lids. And I'm just going to set that concealer so it doesn't crease up. So this is what the top eyelid looks. It's going to be pretty simple just because the start of the show is definitely going to be the lower lash line. And so now I'm going to go in with a Morphe another blending brush but it's going to be smaller just because you don't want bigger ones down here bigger ones just because you don't want bigger blending brushes down here just because it's going to get too much under the lid and that's what you don't want so definitely get smaller blending brushes and I'm going to go in first with this really pretty light purpley kind of grayish shade called lit and I'm going to dip this in and I'm just going to smoke that all under my lash line So 
So now that that is applied, I'm going to take a Mikasa E200 use code discount code Bayana A25 at checkout for 25% off. And I'm going to, it's like a really good um, angled brush. And I'm going to take the darkest shade in Saucy called Heavy Glam. It's a really pretty dark purple shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all in the brush. And I'm going to apply this as close to my lower lash line as I can. And then I'm really going to smoke it out for that wing effect. Just to get a more precise line, I'm going to go in with uh, Mikasa E230. It's definitely, it's a blending brush, but it's thinner than the other one. I'm going to go back in with that same purple shade, and I'm just going to wing that out. Okay, so that's after the purple is applied, and it definitely looks like a wing now, and I really, really love how this is coming out. So now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Voodoo. It's this really, really pretty purple color right here, and I'm going to put that right on my top lash line, but because it is pretty big of a top, it's not pointy, I'm going to go in with a Mikasa E100, it's like this flat angle brush, and I'm just going to apply it from the pencil onto the brush, and I'm going to really make that as close to my lower, as close to my lash line as I can. Okay, so now that that's applied, I'm gonna make it a bit thicker from like the middle portion of my eyelid to the end, just so it looks like there's a wing that's about to pop out, and that's where this lower lash line purple color comes into effect, where it's like a line, a purple line here, but then it's like a smoked out eyeshadow at the bottom. So again, I'm gonna apply this right on the brush, and I'm just gonna make it thicker. This is what one, one eye looks like, and it looks like I have a purple wing liner, but it's, not, it's not. It's just eyeshadow that's winged out, and this liner really gives that effect of it being a wing liner. So now that that's applied, you definitely want to take the same liner, and you want to fill in your lash line with it, so that way there's no skin peeking through. So I'm also going to apply this on my lower lash line. My eyes look so purple, I freaking love it. So now I'm going to go in with a Morphe brush and I'm going to take the Cheek Happens eyeshadow and I'm going to dip this in, super pretty purple like metallic shade and I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line but only half of it. So now I'm going to go in with the super, super small blending brush and I'm going to go back in with Cheeky and I'm going to take Freckles. It's this really, really pretty, like, pinky purple metallic shade. And I'm just going to soak that all up, and I'm also going to spray it with some Fix Plus just to pop, make it pop a little more. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner, and I'm also going to drag it down just so it connects with the purple metallic shade. And this is just to really open up your eye, and I think it just gives it such a beautiful look after that's applied. And I'm also going to put that under my brow bone. Give that a little highlight. Oh my god, that's so pretty. So I feel like this look needs more glitter because I'm extra AF. And I'm going to go in with Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. It's the heavy, the heavy metal glitter. And I'm going to put that where I cut out my crease.
rethink if I need lashes after this mascara because it makes it look so good. So I don't know if I'm going to do lashes today, but I'm going to go in with my lips now and I'm going to be going in with the same collaboration that I Lips at Any Times ColourPop. These lip pencils are the best lip pencils I own, hands down. These things glide on so easy. They're so opaque and they're just, ugh, they last all freaking day. And I'm going to go in with Mamacita. It's this beautiful purple lippy. And I'm going to apply that all over my lips. So this is the way the lip pencil came out. And again, guys, like sometimes you don't even need a lip over it. But I'm going to use a lip over it. But honestly, like look at how beautiful this lip pencil looks. It's just, ugh, they're so good. So now I'm going to go in with the Ultra Matte Lip with in the same collaboration, still in Mamacita. It's a beautiful purple color. Alright, now last but not least, the Morphe Setting Spray. This stuff is so good. It feels like it has like the, the application of a hairspray. And I like that just because there's no like big blobs in my face afterwards, but it's a really good setting spray. So I came and I'm going to go in with some lashes. <laughs> so the lash I'm going to go in with today is by Vegas Matte. I honestly forgot what style these are just because I don't have the box anymore. But these are really, really beautiful and they're really sparse and long and it just looks so good on the eye. So this is what the eyelash is on. I think God I put the mock I just went from like a 4 to an 8 in like 2 minutes. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the final look with the I Love Santa E Times ColourPop collaboration. And if this isn't vampy fall makeup enough for you, I don't know what is. I'm absolutely obsessed with how this makeup turned out, and I hope you do too. So if you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're not already subscribed yet, girl, what are you doing? You don't want to look like a solid 8 too? <laughs> Just hit that subscribe button because I know you want to. I will see you guys on my next video. Love you guys. Bye.